In the new romantic comedy, Ode to Joy, a man with a rare disorder causing narcolepsy when he experiences strong emotions must decide whether to fall in love when he finds his perfect match. Yeah, so he turns to his brother, played by Jake Lacey, to be his wingman. And things get kind of complicated. To say the least. <laughs> Take a look. We uh, actually ended up hitting it off. Yeah? Yeah, she's a big laugher. I don't think I'm that funny, but... Come on, you're funny. I like you, De Niro. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cape Fear. Do a line. I met him an offer he couldn't refuse. That's friend, though. Well, it's eventually him, right? Him before, yeah, I guess. Kind of. Yeah. Do like uh, Goodfellas. Look who's talking to. Jesus Christ. No, I know that one's not right. Were you talking to me? That's honestly awful. <laughs> and Jake joins us live. Welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, same, same. So, yeah, so um, the impersonations, A for effort. Thank you very much. Thank Are you. you. Do you consider yourself an impressionist? Not after this. Not after <laughs> this I didn't know that's what it looked like. It felt real. It felt yeah. good. Did you improvise that scene? Uh, we played around for a little bit yeah. out there. That's awesome. And uh, they were kind enough to be like, yeah, you can do your thing as long <laughs> as it like works out, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, I think we went back on that one a couple times. They were like, let's do this and say that, yeah. and we'll try this, and um, yeah. It was fun. I mean, anytime you could say, are you talking to me? Yeah. It's you fun know, to, like, ruin iconic movie. things for people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. you yeah. think so? You know, this movie's got all of the feels. It's, it's sad, it's funny. Yeah. But, you know, so it's, it's not a true story, but it is based on a true disorder. Yeah. But, and I thought you guys did a really nice job of striking the right balance, but how did you go about that? Because it's wildly entertaining, but it, it is serious at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, uh, the narcolepsy with cataplexy was the jumping off point for this story, and then... Uh, Martin and Jason, who directed it, were very thoughtful to to always be respectful and true to this uh, condition without ever laughing at it or or letting that be the joke, but that the story is a guy trying to decide how much of life he can take on right. um, or whether he's going to have this really like kind of mundane, beige, middle-of-the-road existence to protect himself from the outcome. Yeah, when you talk so about sweet. the disease that he has, you think, oh, this is not going to be a funny movie, but it does happen to be a really yeah, funny movie. Yeah, yeah. So, right. And it's got such an impressive cast, like you said, Martin Freeman, uh, Melissa Rauch, Marina Bacharin. Yeah. I'm always curious what draws an actor to a project, so what was it about this role? I mean, those people, film? for yeah. sure, you know? Um, and then Jason Weiner directing it, um, I just wanted to get to hang out with those guys yeah. for a month and like <laughs> see what we could that. come up with and make and uh yeah and then a wonderful script as well so you hope that like those things come together in a way that uh you know, you wind up with a little film that people connect with. Yeah, it, it's so sweet, and and I love just how much you are there for your brother. Yeah. In the film, so one of my favorite things is like, you know, when you're embarking on the day, so you your character starts listing all of these negative things, so he doesn't feel any immense joy and he doesn't pass out. Right. <laughs> were those scenes improvised? Uh, I think some of them <laughs> were. I don't. I forget what they kept in. I think also at one point they were like, it's getting a little dark, Jake. Like maybe just kind of like uh, yeah. Yeah. clean it up a little bit. Like I don't. Know <laughs> that we need to go that dark to keep him on the beam. <laughs> has been um, thinking about everything that makes me sad now, but yeah, like in a funny way, you know? Yeah, yeah, to try to keep yourself safe, I guess. Yes. Um, I guess, it, you know, it's like a little bit of a parallel in our, at least in my life without living with this condition, to be like, am I going to continually take like this safe road to keep myself protected from consequence yeah or am i gonna like put myself out there and be yeah, vulnerable and kind of like see where the chips fall you know? well i you know i love that you took this chance with um the tv reboot of high fidelity oh yeah i'm very yeah, excited yeah. about that it's a, a movie that i used to i loved that movie it was so from, i don't even remember what year that was made but it was with john was in the late and 80s yeah and then the, the movie was in the 90s yeah yeah so this is kind of set told from the female perspective yeah. you're playing opposite zoe kravitz yeah. what else can you tell me about it uh, I think it's really true to the vibe and the feel, the look of, of both the book and then the film. And um, I'm just immensely proud of it. I can't wait for it to come out. It'll be like in February, I think. Um, do a Valentine's Day drop. Nice. Uh, Gotta come back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be here. Back. Yeah, for sure. All yeah, right. I'm thrilled. <laughs> okay, good. It'll be great. Well, you can catch Jake and Ode to Joy when it hits theaters, digital and on demand, tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much for having me.